Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my spring favorites. I love doing this video like once a quarter, like every few months, and kind of sharing with you the things that I've been using and loving and reaching for on a daily basis, from skincare and beauty products to body products, fashion, jewelry, like just a little bit of everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it because I have a lot of items to share with you guys. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. That is where I post daily. I'm on stories all day, every day. I love sharing with you guys over there too. So make sure to watch in between videos. Check me out on Instagram. And a big shout out to Batiste. They are sponsoring a portion of today's video. I love their dry shampoo, so we will get into that later. Later, but let's get started. I want to talk about this Isle of Paradise self tanning butter. This is a newer item that I am obsessed with. This is like mom on the go, five minute tan where you just want to look good, glowy, a little bit of color, but you don't have time to do like a full blown at home spray tan with the mousse or whatever. Like this is just so easy. It's foolproof. So if you want something fast, that makes you tan fast as well. This is great. So it's called the Self Tanning Butter from Isle of Paradise. What I love about it, it's kind of like a lotion, like a body moisturizer with a gradual tanner built in, which is a formula that I've loved for a long time. But the difference with this one is that it develops very fast. So I notice color within like four to six hours, like a nice deep olive tone and it lasts a long time. And usually with gradual tanners, like I kind of have to apply it like two, three days in a row to really tell. This like you can tell upon first application. So it gives you the color of like a mousse or something, but it's easy to apply like a lotion. So I have just loved this really pretty natural color. It's what I have on now. I put it on all over. I just love it. So really, really good. And then for the face, I use the little drops and I mix them in with my moisturizer. I will have everything linked down below, but this is like staple for the summer, the spring and summer. I love it. A couple of beauty favorites. I have been testing out a ton of new makeup products lately, especially foundation. There's like four or five in my rotation, but I wanted to mention this one because I've mentioned it so many times on Instagram. This is the Fenty Beauty Blurring Skin Tint. This is just a great lightweight foundation. I found quite a few. So if you wanna check out my Instagram, I've raved about a few, but this one's really good too. And I've raved about it so many times. So Fenty Beauty Eyewear number seven. It's perfect for my skin right now, like kind of a medium tan shade. But what I love about it is it just kind of feels like a tinted moisturizer. And for the summer months, like when it's super hot, we're here in Florida right now, it is hot and humid and I'm sweating and I just don't want something that's gonna like clog my pores or just feel heavy on my skin or feel like makeup. So I will literally apply this like with my fingers. I'll just quickly blend it in. It gives me good like light to medium coverage. You can layer and build it for a more like full medium coverage, but it's just a really nice lightweight summer foundation. It makes your skin look like skin, but even and really like just natural. Like it's just a natural finish. So I really love this. And then for concealer, I picked this one up from Kosas. I've heard, Kosas, Kosas? I've heard so many people talk about this. I got it in shade 5.5. This is full coverage. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be, but this is like on the same level of coverage as like a Tarte Shape Tape, but it's very lightweight on the skin. So it pairs really well with the Fenty Beauty. It's what I have on today. I just really like it. It's super brightening for under the eyes. It covers any dark spots, any pimples, any hyperpigmentation. Like it's just a full coverage concealer that doesn't feel heavy or cakey on your skin. So love that. And then... I have switched over to Artiste brushes. I don't know what took me so long. I've heard about them for years and they sent me a package. I was like, oh my God, I've been wanting to try these for years. They are so good. Something about the shape and just the way you hold it and it just blends so fast. Like these are just very unique brushes and I was kind of intimidated by that for a while. I think that's probably why I didn't buy them for so long but they are so easy to use and so nice. I actually really need to wash mine right now, but the Oval 7, this is what I use for foundation every day if I don't use my fingers. Like if I want something a little bit fuller coverage and I wanna build that up, I will use a brush or if I use a different foundation. So if I'm using a brush, this is the one I've been using. It blends your makeup in in 60 seconds. It gives you full coverage. Like I kind of thought it'd wipe away your foundation, but it doesn't. It's just very beautiful brush. And then 
for concealer, I've been using Oval 6 and Oval 4, depending on kind of what size I need, but they're a little bit smaller. So just great, really easy to hold in your hand and just blend in your makeup really well. I've been using it for cream blush, cream bronzer, all kinds of stuff. So really love these. Speaking of cream blush, I've been loving the Rare Beauty in Nearly Apricot. I think the packaging is really cute too, but this Nearly Apricot is just a really pretty apricot shade kind of like a rosy peach color i love a cream blush in the warm like summer months i just feel like it looks really natural and kind of glowy and like hydrating on the skin it kind of gives a really pretty look for spring and summer so i've been using that a lot lately so i've also switched up my brow routine charlotte tilbury came out with some new brow products and i have been loving them so first up we have the pencil it's called brow cheat i have it in natural brown a great pencil if you are in need of something that gives like really hair like strokes and it really just is like easy to use. I love this one, but I mean, it's just a brow pencil. What I really love are these two products. So the Brow Fix is their clear brow gel. This has some hold. So I recently did brow lamination at home. I did it myself and I like the way it looks, but like sometimes like in the very beginning, especially it was like pretty intense. I wanted to tame them down a little bit. So this has some great hold. If you need a clear brow gel and you really want it to hold and stay all day, this one's great. And then if you don't want to fill in your brows, but you want them to look a little fluffier, like if you want that laminated look without actually laminating them, this is so good. It's called Legendary Brows. I have it just Supermodel Brow. I don't think there's a specific color for this one, but it's so nice. It reminds me of Benefit's Give Me Brow, but this just has a lot more pigmentation um in a little bit like it's just different it's a little bit different and i like it a little bit better so i have been using gimme brow for years now and i love it but this is just a step up so if you like gimme brow which is something that just kind of has a nice tint it has some fibers in it and it kind of brushes up your brows this is all i have on my brows today i have no pencil no other gel just this and it looks really good i love it a hair favorite that i have been loving lately is my batiste dry shampoo in the volumizing one this is my favorite right now i love all of them but specifically the volumizing right now because i've been going on long walks every day it's so nice here we're like trying to enjoy the weather but even at home in nashville i love going on long walks every day but i wear a hat i want to obviously protect my skin from the sun but when i wear a hat my hair gets like flat to my head i will go ahead and insert clips so you guys can see my hair just gets super super flat flat and deflated and then of course I'm like sweating but obviously I don't want to wash my hair every day I don't even have time to wash my hair and like blow dry it every single day so that's where dry shampoo comes in you guys know I'm a Batiste ambassador so I love their products but specifically the volumizing one right now because I've been wearing a hat every day and then I kind of want to bump up the volume again afterwards so I have some b-roll so you guys can see how I use it basically you just shake up the can you spray it on your roots I let it sit for about one minute and then I massage and with my fingertips you get natural volume you can also back comb with this in which is really nice to give tons of volume but yeah it's great it gives your hair that clean feeling without having to wash it, it kind of can go a day or two longer and it gives you nice volume too so kind of like a two-in-one with this one but they have so many different variations they're really affordable they're easy to find everywhere i will have a link down below but i just love them specifically the volumizing one right now but they're all really great if you guys haven't tried them yet definitely do but i'm sure most of you already are big fans of batiste as well oh and i also wanted to mention april is earth month and if you guys did not know the batiste cans are recyclable so you can always recycle them after you're done and you want to pick up a new one so that's something really great and easy that we can all do and it's like perfect timing to mention that for earth month also you can save water by not washing your hair and using your batiste instead so pick it up you guys recycle the can when you're done but i will have the link down below sticking with hair i bought this pack of clips on amazon of course the green one that is like so cute i can't find i've looked around the entire condo i think it's in my diaper bag and michael just took rocco out for a little bit so i could film this video but it's a pack of four the green one is so cute i'll try to insert a picture and then the pink one it really matches my shirt today they're like a nice matte finish which i really like so the pink the green and those are the ones i've been wearing but it also comes with a black and a nude i haven't worn these two yet obviously but really pretty i just like the color and like every time I go out, I see people wearing them and I'm like, that is so cute. And it reminds me to wear mine. So I love them. So let's talk sunglasses. I am a huge sunglass person. I feel like it totally changes your look. And I also have really sensitive eyes. So I just have to wear them. But these are the ones I've had on rotation for a while. And I still get questions about them all the time. So first up, we have these ones from Vela, V-E-H-L-A or Vela. I'll show you. 
they're really cute. I just love this shape. So if you kind of like that look of like an aviator or a Ray-Ban, but maybe the shape doesn't look great on you, try these ones out. I think this shape is like really nice. I like them. I think they come in a couple different colors too. And they're not huge. Like if you don't want something huge. Now, if you like to go a little like out there, a little crazier with your sunglasses, I'm just cleaning them. You will like these ones. I actually got these on Amazon. They're by the brand Chloe. And they're an aviator, but they're really cool. They have like this circle in the middle there and then like kind of go over the metal edges and they're like a pretty goldy orange color. I think these are really cool. I love aviator. And then these ones, my parents actually got me for my birthday and it was really nice. And they're very simple and just like chic and I've been reaching for these the most. I feel like they're the most like mom proof sunglasses. Like I can just throw them anywhere and they're not gonna get like messed up or scratched or just a nice like plastic sunglasses these are from chanel but i just feel like these are a good basic like a good staple that will go with any look any outfit will stay in style for years like i don't even know what shape they are like i guess kind of like a square shape but they're also not too big so if you like something big but not so big where it's like bug like these are really cute i will try to link everything i can so I've shared this with you guys before on the vlog channel because it's something that I bought for the hospital and when I had Rocco and I've been loving it ever since. It's from Mark and Graham. It's their cosmetics case. So it's like a great travel case, but it also looks really pretty on your vanity. I did get mine monogrammed. I don't know if you guys can tell it's like a light yellow. I thought it was going to be a beige to match this. And then when it came and it was yellow, I was like, eh, if I knew it was yellow, I probably wouldn't have picked yellow. I like it, but I don't love it. So. This is what it looks like. It's nice. You can just kind of like wipe this down. It's huge. I mean, it's like a massive case that fits everything. I actually did like a little TikTok on it because it fits so much. It's really cute on the inside too. But this is where I packed everything for this entire trip. Like all of my skincare, body care, contacts, glasses, solution, makeup, brushes, self tanner, like everything fit in here. Full size shampoo and conditioner. So it's tons of little compartments, but basically what I really love the most is that it's easy to clean and it's huge. And nothing's going to like spill or break because it's kind of like a hard case. So if you're traveling like through the airport or whatever, nothing's gonna break if it moves around a lot. I bought this hat last year on Amazon and it has been a staple and it's gonna be a staple again this summer. I wanted to mention it because every time I wear it, I get questions about it. Um, it's just really great for travel too, but I love it because I don't always want to have my hair in like a low ponytail when I'm wearing a hat. Like sometimes I want my hair off my neck and to do like a high bun or a high ponytail. And that's where this comes in. Cause there's really like, there's no hat on the hat. It's just kind of like a visor that goes all the way around. And it looks like a hat Velcros in the back. It's really cute. I just love the way it looks, but it's great when you want to wear your hair up high or low. It's just a nice little sun hat. And then it's also really easy to pack too. So I'll show you guys, I'll undo the Velcro. You can just like roll it like this and then it doesn't get messed up in your suitcase. And it's really easy to travel with. It has like a little tie there. So you just tie this around, throw this in your beach bag or your suitcase and you are ready to go. I have been getting questions daily on my lip combo and it is so simple lately so I wanted to make sure I mentioned it in here. It's what I have on today. Sore Lip Liner from MAC. It's basically like my lip color but better. It's like a rosy pink color. It's called Sore. And then this is it. I haven't been doing any lipstick. I just wanted like easy natural makeup lately. Like stuff that isn't heavy or tacky or cakey on my skin. It's been so hot here. So this is Color Science Lip Shine in the color Champagne. What I love about it is that it's SPF 35. So it's great like during the day when I'm at the pool or on a walk, I'll reapply it a couple times too. But what I love is the texture. Like I already have it on, but it's just buttery. It's really smooth and buttery. It's not tacky or sticky, but it has a really nice color payoff and it just looks really pretty. Of course, when I say it's not tacky or sticky, I get a hair stuck in my lip, but yeah. That's what it looks like. I think it's really pretty and nice. I have been getting so many questions on this necklace. It says Julian and Rocco. It's really cute. So if you want 
to put like all your kids names or your dog names or just anything special to you i think it can do up to three different names so it's from the siskis i will link it down below but it's just a really nice like personalized gift this would be great for mother's day although i think it takes quite a few weeks to get in so if you want to place an order i'd probably place it like asap it might even already be too late for mother's day but really really beautiful necklace i just love that i can wear both their names together so that's from the siskis and those are all of my current favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much to Batiste for sponsoring today's video. I will have links to everything down below so you guys can check it out and shop, as well as on my website. I always do like a coordinating blog post with everything, so you can check that out there. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. That is where I post daily, so you guys can see in between videos like what I'm doing and loving on a daily basis. I will see you guys over there. Bye.